Division title. So here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who was also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Colby Chaos Covington. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. UFC Championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Takedown defense holds up. 
His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Covington gets in the clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or striking on the Yeah, I mean, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace, really push the pressure on you, and hope that his opponent will wilt under the pressure that he brings. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Pressure being applied here. Oh, right to the mouth. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Back mount now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take a big face. ground and pound strike. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Second round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. That's a nice combination there from Covington. The hands, the feet, really start to catch up with the wrestling and the grappling. Game. Yeah, man, everything is coming together for Kobe. Kobe is now a top flight mixed martial artist. Don't be fooled by all the words. This young man can really fight. A big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lands to the body there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issues. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a kid. The weight difference, I don't know if you know if you did too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Covington's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now it's his mount. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's gonna tackle armbar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely.
Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliano is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by a new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kobe Chaos Covington. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the...